Hello, my beautiful soul family, my family, friends, light workers, and star seeds. Welcome to my channel. Namaste to all of you. Sending you all love and light. A huge, a huge virtual hug from my mom and I, Giovanna. Just feel our virtual hug. Sending you lots of love, light, and just, you know, embracing the special time at this time right now and sending you all this love. So now let's get started with the singing bowl. We have a little meditation here, right? A little meditation before we start the reading. All you need to do is to take, all you need to do is take a deep breath in and release. I have all my archangels here, of course, my ancestors, my angels, my fairies and uh so i will invoke Arch uh, our archangel metatron to come through with the universal grid of love light and protection from the holy spirit i will invoke mother gaia to be here to sustain the healing and reading and to also keep us grounded i will invoke archangel uriel to clear my energy and space and do the same thing for you i will invoke archangel gabriel to right no sorry archangel Raphael first to send you healing energy of love and light to the body, mind, and spirit. I will also invoke Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective. And last but not least, I will invoke Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with intentions. And all you need to do is just relax, take a deep breath in, and I'll take care of the rest. So let's get started. Archangel Uriel, to clear my energy and space and yours as well. Archangel Raphael to send healing energy Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective And Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with light, love, harmony, protection, laughter, wealth, health, abundance, unity, and so it is. Put this on the side. So you're going to see Sandy in the background. I'm sure you see her. Uh, anyways, uh, she's also sending you unconditional love as well. Uh, and um, everything you need to know about me is underneath the video. So everything that you need to know is underneath the video. And also, for those of you that want to um, relay a message to my mom, uh, you can write them in the comments below as well. Again, she sends you all her love. She thanks you from her bottom of her heart. And I also want to thank all the new subscribers that are here. The ones that have been with me for a very long time. And for my community of 27 years. Thank you for all your love and support. And now let's get started with your readings. Hello, my beautiful Aquarians. Namaste. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is from April 26th to May 2nd, 2021. I hope that you're all doing great. Don't forget that uh, Monday the 26th is a full moon in Scorpio. Don't forget to release, okay, uh, anything that you, is not any uh, uh, longer serving you. This could be emotions. It could be thought patterns, people or situations. And after that, on the 27th, Pluto is going retrograde. Yes, Pluto is going retrograde in Capricorn from uh, April 26th to October of 2021, which it usually does every year. So now let's get started with your reading. I hope you had a great start of the week and that uh, you're going to have a fabulous weekend. I wish you a fabulous, great weekend ahead. And um, thank you again for all the beautiful messages that you leave me. 
my beautiful Aquarians. Every week, I look forward to your messages and to hear from you. So now we're going to start with the affirmation. And uh, I usually repeat it three times to activate it for you. Okay, so Aquarius. Okay, you got love. I love this card for you, Aquarius. And it's, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. And so it is. Now we're going to take out uh, cards from the universe to see what it is, uh, the universe, what message they, that they want to relate to you. I always, always shuffle my cards in three or four. But, oh, okay. There we go. Aquarius. What are the messages for Aquarius? Ooh. You got one card here, and um, when I take out my glasses to read, you got loss. Loss. And your message is, sometimes you learn true offering through loss. You make a passionate invitation for love to take over and bring your own plan instead of the ego's. Loss. There we go. Uh, now I will take out a card from Moonology Oracle. This is about the new phase, the, the phases of the moon. This could be the full moon, new moon. And let's see what Moon Goddess wants to tell you. What's her message to all of you here? One more time. You probably hear Stan Sandy snoring in the background. I'm sorry for that, but she does tend to fall asleep in my readings. Okay, you got two cards. Let's see here. Okay. Well, you came into your own. Bring love into the situation. Bring love into the situation. And this is a Aquarian energy, the new moon in Aquarius. And then you got a personal issue re reaches resolution. This is Cancerian energy. Cancerian energy, okay? So a personal issue re reaches resolution. And bring love into the situation. I think you got that card last week, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure 100%, but I think that's what it is. Now, uh, back from popular demand, I got the Animal Spirit Guide. Uh, Animal Spirit Guide. But this is a new deck, so please bear with me um, as I shuffle because it, it takes a bit of time to play through new cards. Let's see what your animal totem is, the message they want to relate to you, and the numerology. Now, the numerology is very important for those of you that uh, look at that, right? Because... Um, that's when this, the universe is sending you all these numerology and uh, signs. And you'll know if those numbers are for you, you know. Uh, okay. Aquarius energy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you got wasp energy. It's a number 64. The six is about prosperity. The fours are about angels guiding you, loving you. But it's also about uh, stability as well. So when you add the six and the four together, it's a 10. It's a new beginning. And uh, But the wasp energy, uh, well, a wasp spirit is saying to you, sometimes life stings. Sometimes life stings. And now we're going to also take a card from uh, this deck is a deck that the divine asked me to find. It took me a while to find it. Um, and this is about like uh, your challenge and what you need to surrender to. So this is about your challenge and what you need to surrender to. Of course, uh, please bear with me again because they are new cards. So uh, it does take a while for the card to, you know, come pop out. Oh, but it's already popping out. Okay, perfect. <laughs> So that's quick. So you need to surrender to prayer. Now, there's many ways to pray. And you don't have to pray like as if like, you, you know, you could be singing, you could be talking, praying. There's many forms and shapes of prayer, but it's a, it's about surrendering to prayer. Okay. And you see you have a beautiful angel there. Okay. You can also talk to your angels and Archangel uh, Michael for that too. It says, give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will 
you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive. So when you uh, pray from your heart, okay, uh, answers and uh, the answers will come in and support will arrive. This is for you, Aquarius. Now we're going to look at Gaia Oracle to see um, what's in store for you. And also we're going to look at the numerology as well. Okay, Aquarius. We got a lot of cards, so let's look at them together. It's only normal sometimes uh, if their message has to be relayed more than once, they'll come in with a lot of cards. Okay, so uh, let's see which one comes first here. Okay, so you got number two. Okay, so Moonlight Goddess. This is about repressed emotions and healing and reflection taking place in the recent past till now. Re okay, so the in the recent past till now, it's been about repressed emotions, healing, and a lot of reflection taking place. Okay, uh, number two. It could also be about duality and also could be talking about, um, for some of you, uh, it could be the yang yang energy, but also I feel uh, I, I'm picking up a message here for someone here that's been in the couple and been having a lot of problems with that uh, in, with your in your you know vice versa your your partner here, and uh, what I'm picking up is that there's been a lot of repressed emotions that you know not being able to to say what you feel from the deepest of your hearts. Next one you got is number fourteen, which is a five. Five is about changes, and this is purification and fire. Okay, so bare essentials, the naked truth, and coming to wholeness. The naked truth and coming to wholeness. The next card you got is number 43, which equals to a 7. And you got intuitive communication. So silent whispers of the heart. Silent whispers of the heart is taking place for you or will be taking place. Uh, you got also number 40, which is yin-yang energy. It's about creating harmony through balance. There's been a lot of transformations here, death and rebirth and transformation that, that have been taking place. Uh, you also got number four energy. And uh, so you got the dream and something is going to be revealed to you. Insight and some type of breakthrough will come through. And this could be for the full moon and Scorpio that we will have on the 26th of uh, April. And last but not least, you got number 17, which equals to an 8. There's a shift that's going to be taking place. And this is about achievement. And it's keep focused on your dream, Aquarius. Keep focused on your dream. Beautiful energy, beautiful messages from the angels, from the moon goddess, the universe. And now let's get started with your reading. This reading is for Aquarius sun. And in anywhere that you have Aquarius in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. If it resonates, claim it 100%. But if it doesn't resonate and you feel that this is not your reading, well, then look at your rising, okay? Look at your moon, look at Venus. And for those of you that want to look at uh, your north node, that's for your uh, soul path and purpose as well. And now I'm going to show you where you are, what is crossing you, what spirit wants you to focus on, your recent past, what is crowning you, your immediate future, what is being hidden from you, and the possible future. And then I will, of course, clarify the cards in which Spirit wants me to clarify the cards for you. So, one more time. Yeah, the cards are ready. Cut them in three. Okay. Aquarius.
All right. Take the spray. Some for you, some for Archangel Michael, and some for me. All right, overall energy. You got the Ace of Pentacles. Abundance is coming in here for you. Aquarius, this could be money coming in. Uh, it could be a gift. So some, some sort of gift or some sort of help from the universe to start you along. So there's some type, something of uh, stableness here in this, in this overall energy. Where you're at is Jupiter energy, the Wheel of Fortune. This is beautiful. The Wheel of Fortune talks about second chances taking place. Something that's destined, that's faded to come towards you. And there's no nothing that could stop this from coming in. And it could also be a luck, okay, energy of luck as well. And what's going to cross you on like this is going to be a lot of messages coming in. There's going to be a lot of messages, fast-paced messages coming in here for you, okay? Like very quick, you're going to be like, you know, doing a hundred things at the same time, okay? And it's very passionate to your heart as well. I also hear uh, that the divine is saying that you're also going to be receiving a lot of messages from the divine, from your angels, from your spirit guides as well. What spirit wants you to focus on is this nine of swords. Okay, uh, a lot of you are, uh, there's a lot of worry. You cannot sleep at night. You're overthinking. You're overanalyzing. You're feeling that you're stuck in your limitations, um, not seeing a solution for a situation here, and a lot of fear-based energy. In the recent past till now, you had the four of swords reversed. Okay, so you you were coming out, you came out of a time, a period where uh, there was some type of timeout, maybe with a person, a situation in your life, or coming out of a healing. And what's crowning you is the four of pentacles reversed. And I like this card because this shows me that you're not going to be holding back any longer. There's no holding back any longer. In the immediate future, I got the elephant reversed. This is about learned lessons that are not being learned at this time. For others of you, this could be a marriage that's uh, on the rocks right now. Okay, all depends. Okay, there's a, but you got the keys. Okay, it's just that you need, there's a lesson that needs to be learned here. Okay, um, also what is supporting you is just this reverse Libra energy. There's something that is not in balance in your life. Something needs to be moderated. Okay, um, I also feel for not all of you, but for some of you, it could be that uh, there's some type of deception, deception or lies in a situation. Someone is not telling the truth in, in a situation here. Uh, what's being hidden from you is the Eight of Pentacles. There's a lot of energy, put a lot of work in a situation, whether it's yourself, a project, something creative at work. But you've been working very hard and diligently in a situation here. Um, and uh, in the Hopes and Fears, you got the Seven of Swords reversed, Okay. Uh, again, this is a good card when it's reversed because uh, there's no, nothing is being withheld from you. This is what it's saying. Nothing is being withheld from you. And in the possible future, you got the devil card, Capricorn energy. Maybe some of you are dealing, dealing with a Capricorn. For others of you, well, okay, even though we're in the Aquarian energy, uh, a lot of, okay, like a lot of people are still in the Capricorn energy of a few months ago. Uh, when we had Capricorn in the South Node and Cancer in the North Node, now we have Sagittarius in the North Node, in the South Node, and Gemini in the yeah Gemini and Gemini is now in the North Node. Uh, this could be a breakthrough from uh, Saturn energy. Okay, a breakthrough maybe in money um, or a, a job or something that is really dear to you. Uh, for others of you, uh, maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, Saturn energy is here. Jupiter and Saturn. Here now we're gonna start clarifying the cards for you and see what's going on, Aquarius. A lot of you are gonna be getting a lot of messages uh, or emails and telephone calls uh, for work. Okay, because there's something that you're producing for the public, I feel, for some of you. And you're getting a lot of appointments coming in. Okay, so look forward to that. There's gonna be a lot of appointments coming in. Now, cards are ready, and we're going to start clarifying. We're going to clarify the Ace of Pentacles here. Well, that was fast. We've got the five, of, uh, the five of Wands. The Magician. And the Three of Swords. Okay. 
There's been a lot of fighting around the situation, a lot of fighting, a lot of drama. Maybe it's just the energies also of the collective at this time. And a lot of sorrow, okay, with the Three of Swords. This is about uh, someone here heartbroken or there could be a, there could have been a hard, uh, some type of, um, you know, a situation. It could be a relationship or any, or it doesn't have to be a relationship. It could just be a, it could be a, a job maybe uh, or with family, with friends or um, you know, there was a, there's been a lot of fighting and hurt here. There's a lot of hurt and fighting in a situation here, okay? And what, what they're showing me is that in the process of your going through this, you've been manifesting. Even though that you've been feeling like this, you have all the tools here to manifest whatever it is that you desire, okay? And uh, this is about all the, all the lessons you went through. So all the hardships, let's put it this way, and being able to manifest. And some of you are trying to manifest money. And this is what is coming through because you do have Jupiter coming in, helping you with the Wheel of Fortune. So now let's look at the Wheel of Fortune together. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here for Aquarius? You got the tower reversed. Every time Jupiter is around, there, there has to be a tower moment all the time. Okay, because the change has to come in. The tower is reversed here. You got the Queen of Wands energy. And you got the Nine of Pentacles. I see some of you here are single. Now, this will not pertain to all of you. Uh, something happened in the past where maybe a relationship did not go well or, or some type of situation did not go well. And some of you have been working on yourselves. I could, it shows me that you've been working on yourself because the tower in the past here caused some type of unexpected change that took place. Uh, and uh, with that change and everything that you had to go through here, I see that someone is working on themselves here, uh, whether you're single or not. Okay, and very independent energy. And what's coming through after all this tower that took place here is the Queen of Wands. Now, this could be you in energy, very truthful, very generous, very outgoing, uh, outspoken as well, uh, adventurous, uh, you know, very passionate as well, uh, creative, productivity, a lot of like uh, planting the seeds a long time and very magical energy that's coming through. Or you're dealing with this type of energy that could be a Sagittarius, Leo or Aries. Now, let's look at the Eight of Wands energy that's crossing you. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Well, you've got the Ace of Swords. You've got two Aces on the ground. you got the Knight of Pentacles. And you got the Three of Cups reversed. Okay. Well, there was a situation of the past here. It shows me that uh, for some of you, there's a message here. If you're waiting for someone from your past to return, uh... And they're not returning at this moment because they're not stable in finance, especially if they have to travel to you. Um, this is a message completely different from what I'm picking up here. Okay. Um, and uh, so if you are waiting for someone to come in or if it's for a job or for something that you've been waiting on, as uh, someone specifically told you something about that, uh, they're not coming in at this time. Okay. Uh, now, what they're showing me is, yeah, you're going to be receiving a lot of messages. Yes, very beautiful, passionate messages and also very clear messages as well with the Ace of Swords energy. Clear messages. Your crown is going to be where it's supposed to be, Aquarius. This is about clarity, removing the fog, being focused, a lot of communication and truth that's coming in for you. Okay. And uh, a lot of you cut away or put away or not even put away. You um, you released someone or something in the past that was a lot of interference with. But I do see someone coming towards you. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy doesn't have to be the sign. They're coming in very slowly. They're taking their time. They're planning. But when they come in, they come in with an offer. This could be a job or whatever it is, your situation. But there's an offer here on the table. Okay. Now let's look at the Nine of Swords and what Spirit wants you to focus on. You got the Seven of Cups. So there's a lot of confusion because you're in your mind a lot about situations. Some of you are not following your intuition. Hmm. You got the Two of Pentacles, the High Priestess reversed, followed by the King of Cups sideways. I also do sideways, and I'll explain why. Because when the card comes out this way, that's the way it comes out. And Spirit wants me to relate the messages to you in this way. So I'm just going to show you here, okay? So there's a lot of confusion, a lot of options that are taking place. A lot of dreams, okay? Uh, you're, there's a lot. I feel scatteredness here. And Spirit said there's a need to ground here. There's a need for you to ground. 
something will be revealed to you 100% with the high priestess reverse. But it also shows me for some of you, you're not in your intuition at that time. Some of you are being pulled in two different directions or many different directions, okay? You're trying to bring something into balance, but you're all over the place in a situation, whether it's you or vice versa or the cross watcher. And again, a need to be grounded energy. And I do see the King of Cups sideways. The King of Cups sideways for me signifies that there's someone here that's coming that is in between being available and not being available. Someone that is uh, still dealing with their emotions and they're coming out of it. Okay, so because the, the card could have came like this or like this, it came sideways. So they're halfway through a situation here. Whether it's you or you're dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Now, uh, let's look at the Four of Swords reversed in the recent past. You got the Ten of Wands. The Four of Wands reversed. 44. 444. Four, four. There's three fours on the ground, including one card here. So there's four fours and the queen of pentacles. So some of you here, what they're showing me is that there was a, a, um, a time where you had to take time out because there was a tower moment. There was a lot of fighting in a situation, a lot of grief, a lot of hurt. Okay. Um, coming out of a time out or there was some type of breakup where there was very, very difficult with the 10 of uh, wands. It was very, very difficult. There was so many obstacles. You carry the world on your shoulders, Aquarian, okay? And the 10 becomes a 1, so that something got liberated. And with the 4 of Wands reversed, I feel there was a lot of interference in the home. In the, in the home. Um, there wasn't a lot of happy events taking place, uh, or some type of proposal did not come through in the way that you wanted to. But there was, of course, unhappiness. And a lot of you focused on your finances with the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Being reliable, being in security, here energy okay being successful energy or you are dealing with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn like I said I feel these two are you whether you're a male or you're a female or a male it doesn't matter in energy you could have been these two over here okay the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles energy so a lot of you were concentrating on your finances or on your home or on your stability on your children your family life whatever it was for you okay now let's look at the four of pentacles reversed here. You got temperance, Sagittarian energy. You got the sun card, beautiful, and the king of uh, of uh, of swords. This is beautiful energy. No more holding back. The heart chakra is completely open here, open to unconditional love, open to love. That's beautiful. Okay, patience is the key. Communication is also the key in the situation. It's about moderating yin-yang energy as well. Beautiful healing taking place here, okay? So it's beautiful. And being patient, you've got the sun card. It's the best card in the deck. This talks about all the positive vibes, victory, success. This could be, um, it's also being on the right path. It talks about maybe for some of you, it could be wealth, it could be money. Uh, it could be a job or your career, whatever it is that you've been working on. For others of you, it's a relationship. It's a soulmate relationship. It's a twin soulmate. This could be for others of you uh, having babies. Whatever it is, the sun is shining on you. And you also got the king of swords energy. This is you, I feel, my beautiful Aquarians. Maybe you're embodying the king of swords energy where the heart and mind is in one place. You're going to see things very clearly. Yes, you probably can be aloof standoffish you know but uh it's about seeing clearly it's about finding solutions it's about having the mind not to be limitless it's about limitless in, 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 sorry limitless meaning being able to to see and feel hear everything and 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 the king of swords energy for me what i feel okay uh is is uh, is um someone that's very intellectual uh, but it's about finding solutions to everything, not being stuck in one thing. So this is beautiful energy. Or you could be dealing with someone that's coming in that is this type of energy. Okay? Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Now let's look at the elephant reversed here uh, in the immediate future. Why is the elephant reversed? You got the hangman reversed. Nice. Okay, I get it. And this, okay, so you got the Hermit and you got the Six of Pentacles. 
So there is a life lesson that has to be learned here in a situation. This could be also a rocky marriage, okay? It all depends where you are at. The hangman reverse talks about surrendering. There was something that was stagnant here. And this talks about a spiritual awakening that's taking place. You're going through the ascension time right now. You're going through a spiritual awakening. And some of you are still taking time out. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. You're taking time out. <coughs> Excuse me. You're taking time out from family and friends and following your own path. It is about reflecting, reassessing. A lot of you are still, you're dealing with someone that's, uh, maybe some of you are dealing with someone that's still going through the dark night of the soul since the month of, I would say, August, September of 2020 energy. But I do see a spiritual awakening that's taking place, okay? So someone is going through releasing themselves from the spiritual, from the dark night of the soul and reawakening. And, uh, you know, from the two of pentacles here, you went to the six of pentacles, which is beautiful. It shows me that you've been working on your pentacles. You've been working to be solid, that whatever you give, you're going to be receiving. So, you know, it talks about that you're in between. You're st there is some type of stability for you. Now, let's look at uh, justice reversed here in what's supporting you at this time. You got, again, the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Cups. One, two, three. There's four eights on the ground. And the two of ones. So some of you have been maybe uh, in, uh, there's been communication, a lot of communication, uh, making about making future plans, like uh, making like, uh, you know, plans. Okay. Talking about the plan, your, your future plans, what's next in life. Okay. And, um, uh, but there's something here that's really off balance in a situation maybe you're dealing with a Libra. Uh, but I feel a lot of you feel, because a lot of you are not trusting intuition, some of you are not picking up that someone is lying to you here. There's someone here that's not honest in a situation, okay? And with the Eight of Cups, I feel someone is going to be walking away. And this could be you, okay, uh, Aquarius. You could be walking away. Now, let's look at the Eight of Pentacles and what's being hidden from you. We've got the Six of Swords energy. The Nine of Swords again. You know, you're constantly worry. you worried here. You cannot sleep at night. You know, uh, you're not focused. You need to meditate, actually, and really uh, ground yourself to Mother Gaia. And, you know, because... And uh, trust in love. Not love like I love you, but love vibration. And then you got the Emperor. Uh, you're trying to... There is an Aries energy here, probably. For some of you, this has to do with business here. A lot of you, you are worried about business. You're trying to control the events around it uh, or the outcome of a situation here. And that's why I feel that you get stuck for some of you. Others of you are dealing with an Aries energy and um, you're working very hard here. You're trying to, you're putting a lot of energy in a situation, but whatever the situation is, if it's a business here, okay, um, it's it's been very difficult because uh, even though you set up new rules, new boundaries, whatever, this is a commitment for you, uh, there's been a lot of worry about it. Okay, but what Spirit is saying is that with the Six of Swords, you're going through a transition, so you have to give yourself time. You cannot rush through this process. Okay, from a difficult time, you're going to go more into a positive time. Some of you might be trying to work hard to get to go on a vacation, and others, this is about relocating or moving. Now, let's look at the Seven of Swords reversed in the hopes and fears. You got the Four of Swords reversed. Followed by the Nine of Cups reversed and followed by the Seven of Swords upright. Mm. Okay, there could be uh, information that's being withheld from you. Okay, so now I got confirmation here that maybe at one point it's on and off, this this, this uh, information being withheld from you. I also feel that uh, I'm picking up here on someone here uh, that they're, they're having a lot of difficulties. Okay, there's a lot of difficulties uh, with their mind. A lot of like overthinking, overanalyzing, but for, for some of them, whoever this person I'm picking up, Spirit says that they're not feeling well, okay, at this time. But besides that, the, uh, uh, what I'm being shown here is someone is coming in and out of drinking. So when they say they promised that they were not going to drink, well, they come on and off on that, okay, for others, I don't know who that message is for, uh, where I feel that someone went to rehab here, 
uh, they came out of rehab, but they started drinking again and trying to get away with it, whatever. And for others of you, there is withhold, withheld information here with the Seven of Swords uh, upright and reversed here. So it, it, on and off, it comes on, on and off, on and off. You'll know who that message is for. Someone coming out of a time out where they've been healing and some type of wish fulfillment that's coming in with the Nine of Cups energy reversed. So now let's look at the devil energy, Capricorn. Uh, this could be also, uh, you know, some of you are dealing with uh, with uh, toxic people, uh, fears, uh, but, you know, it could be also in the way that you're thinking, um, just a lot of difficult moments with the Saturn energy and something is unfinished, unfinished business that's taking place here. Of, there's unfinished business here, okay? With the world reversed. Okay, uh, let me see. Yes, you're not going to feel stuck any longer. You're not going to feel stuck. At, well, first, before I even take out this card, I'll take out this card. I do see someone coming in. Okay, there's a, a gesture of love. Someone that maybe wants to date you, wants to show love, wants to be affection towards you. Okay, you're not going to be feeling stuck any longer with the eight of uh, swords reversed. There's not going to, you're not going to feel that. Uh, with the seven of pentacles, you're reevaluating everything. Maybe your pentacles, maybe all your life experiences. And some of you will be at crossroads because it is calling for a new beginning to take place and for you to take a leap of faith and trust in the process with the universe. Trust in the universe, trust, trust in God energy, trust in yourself. Okay, because you know the answers. And underneath the deck, there is a new emotional experience taking place. This could be a relationship, a friendship. It could be with a child. Whatever the case, there is a new emotional experience taking place for you. Okay, so now let's uh, do the crystals and see what crystals you will need. Okay, I'm just going to put the cards on the side here. All right, let's look at the crystals that you will need for this week. got agate get back into balance agate get back into get balance and agate is also a protection crystal as well it's beautiful agate and the next one you got is angel aura quartz angel aura quartz lighten up now these are the crystals that you can use this week and for as long as you need them and underneath my website there's two websites i have here that i support uh, you get 10 to 22 percent off with my name on it and if, let's say, you're looking for an angel or a quartz, because I do have a couple of them, they're really nice to have. Um, if you are looking for the angel or a quartz, all you have to do, let's say, if you go on the website, but they don't have it, all you need to do is write to them and they will find it for you. That's how much they'll go looking out for you and, and getting you what you need, okay? So now let's look at the sacred geometry to see what's in store here. We're going to look at the numerology as well. got number 40 and i think you had number 40 twice 40 plus 40 is an 80 but eight eight energy harmony it's great it's about creating harmonious surroundings around you creating harmonious uh, uh, um, surroundings around you and you got number 11 which is a creation number so you got the master number 11 some of you your soul path is 11 and this is about the genesis pattern Genesis pattern. It's about planting the seed. Planting the seed. Beautiful. Now I'll take cards from my angel, ask angels and romance angels. You can ask, uh, let's say if there's a question you want to ask about the reading or something I did not answer for you. 
in the reading. If you want to ask about anything else, ask now as I shuffle the cards. And remember the an the angels are uh, the angels. Okay. Um, their answers are 100% accurate when they come in. You'll know what messages for you if you follow your intuition, okay? Because not all, mes all messages will be for you. You'll know which one pertains to you. Okay? One more time. I normally take out six to eight cards. But sometimes it depends what spirit wants me to do. I follow through. Well, that one was fast. Okay. Okay, so you got mostly your answers are coming from the angels. Okay, over here. And then I have one card from the romance angels. And it's about forgiving and learning, Aquarius. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Now, from the angels, I'm just going to take them out here. but So I could start with which one, the, the first one that came out, because I want to see. The first one that came out was, there's something better. There's something better. Um, then you got, look for a sign. Look for a sign, Aquarius. If you believe. They want you to be assertive. Be assertive. Within the next few months. Within the next few months. There's abundance coming in for you. And one more thing they want to say to you is there's going to be big happy changes. Beautiful. Now we're going to take a card from Archangel Michael to see what Archangel Michael wants to relate to you. <clears throat> okay. You have three cards. First one is ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. Remember, if you want Archangel Michael to help you, all you need to do is ask him. Okay, and your prayer is, Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with and describe the situation. Please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times. Amen. And so it is. The next one is believe and trust. Believe and trust. And your prayer is, before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, Please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. And last but not least, you got Archangel Michael says, Romance angels are helping you. And your prayer is, Dear guardian angels are my soulmate. Thank you for preparing my soulmate and me for love, for giving us the motivation to make helpful life changes and for arranging for us to meet. Thank you for helping us recognize each other and have the courage to say hello so that we can eventually dwell in, into a truly intimate relationship. Amen. And thank you, Archangel Michael. And now, last but not least, I will take a white light oracle card where I will read you a passage and then give you a healing. You got number 24, which equals to a six. Six about prosperity. And you got Alpha of Alcyon. Alcyon. So let's look at this together. Okay. Okay. Here's your passage. A positive twist of faith and a windfall of good fortune are destined for you. Brightness and hope 
will elevate elevate negativity and give you the strength to find your way through a time of adverse, adversity or challenge. Finally, you will experience peace, love, and deep connection with your true self and the universe. God, good things are on their way to you. Yeah, of course, you got the Wheel of Fortune, and that's coming in for you. So let's do the healing process together, my beautiful Aquarians. Um, so find a place where you can rest without being distracted or disturbed and settle to a comfortable position, which I think you already are. Okay, um, if possible, look at something restful or beautiful to look at. Uh, maybe such as trees or the ocean or some beloved crystals or sacred objects. So, uh, you know, you can take a crystal in your hand if you like, okay? Notice, uh, become aware of your breathing at this time. So let's take a deep breath in. Hold and release. Let your focus be soft and diffuse. Notice the rise and fall of your breath. And allow it to become slower and deeper without forcing it. If there is tension in your body, use the same soft, diffuse focus to relax that part of your body little by little. Allow your mind to drift without trying to hold on to any idea, without trying to follow any thought, but just softly, fluidly, open to the play of imagination. You may become a little drowsy or you may just feel increasingly relaxed. Aim to get to the state where if you had to talk with someone, it would take you a few moments to speak and you would do so slowly rather than swiftly formulating your thoughts. Enjoy the softening of your mental edges. Then allow your imagination, imagination to drift into the heart as though it was a gentle, shining inner temple of white light. See two kingfisher birds flying and playing together. One lovingly protects the other as she lays her eggs. The realm is peaceful and still. You may even feel some emotions welling up as you connect to the energy of a such a gentle paradise. Let your heart feel what it needs to feel and just be. Dreamily and softly repeat this mantra after me. I embrace spiritual grace. 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 You may even want to dance or meditate a little upon that mantra. When you have rested in this space for as long as it, fe as it feels good, slowly and gently guide yourself back to the present moment and a somewhat more alert state by using your breath and grounding yourself. You have completed your healing process. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading and your healing, my blue Aquarians. Don't forget to share, comment, and like. And know that I have your back and that I love you. Everything will be okay. And one more thing, love always wins. And love has won. Have a great weekend ahead, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.